everyone and a very warm welcome to this year's Independence Week celebrations at Baobab. We all know that this has been a very challenging and different year for everybody and that makes no exception for our Independence Week. But of course it's such an important part of our lives living in Zambia to celebrate our independence and this year we have found ways in which we can get around some of the health restrictions we have to still come together and celebrate the beautiful country and the beautiful people of Zambia. I do hope that you will enjoy watching little parts of what's happened this week. We've involved all of our students, all from cooking Zambian dishes right the way through to drumming and some nice performances and plays. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope that you will have a wonderful Zambian Independence Day on the 24th of October, wherever you may be, enjoying your half term. We look forward to seeing you all back in school after half term. Zambia, Z for the Zambezi that flows with all its might, A for the amazing sunset that leads us into the night, M for the maze that feeds the nation, B for the baboons with the mischief fascination, I for the ideas and the art that we mould, A for the animals this great country holds.
Jerusalem I kayala mi Kilondoloze Uhambe nami Zungangishila na Jerusalem I kayala mi Kilondoloze Uhambe nami Zungangishila na Dawoyami Aikolana Buso wami Aukolana Kilondoloze Zuhambe nami Dawoyami Aikolana Buso wami Aukolana Kilondoloze Zambia, what a beautiful land with lots of trees and long green grass. Each morning the birds sing and the sun shines. The cool mild wind blows your troubles away. Home not only to the big five but to many more. People from all over the world come to this country just to see its waters, wildlife and lifestyle. 56 beautiful years. Meeting our contestants, we have on this side the girls. And on the other side, we have the boys. And, uh, and of course, our audience. So, question one Where is the Ngona River? Yes, Riando? Uh, in the Luapula province. Yes! yes. It is in the Luapula province. Oh. Question two How long is the Ngona River? James? 570 kilometers long. Precisely. What tribes live around the Ngona River? Oh? Uh, Bamba tribes. Yes, that is correct. And the boys lose this competition. Today we're going to talk about facts about the Kongi River, which is named after us. Let's hand over to our correspondent in the country. And now over to the year 9 to compile the video about the Kwamba River. The Kaombe River is located east of Kanona in Central Province. The length of the falls is 70 meters. The river width may vary from 4.9 meters to 6.1 meters. The Kaombe River is surrounded by rich vegetation. The Kaombe River means cooling those in them. The Kaombe River has a lot of exotic plants, but not a river. Not a lot of exotic fish. The Kaombe River borders Malawi, Tanzania, and Central Province. The tribe's name is the Lenzi. The special ceremony is the Kulamba Kubwado. Some beautiful features of this resort include the Chisimba Falls with three caves below, the rainforest of the west bank of the falls. The falls are about 33 kilometers from Kasama. The caves have beautiful minerals and rocks. The Luamba River flows from Chisimba Falls in, into Lake Tanga. When you're ready, go. Thank you. 
I don't know where I'd be without you, where I'd live or sleep or school. I just know I'd be unhappy not being over here with you. You gave me friends, you gave me enemies, you've showed me love, you've shown me tragedy. You built me to be extraordinary, you've given me reason just to be.